Hello, my name is Robert Pound and I am a product technologist for Quest. Whether you're doing migration testing, performance tuning, etc., workload capture and replay is an important tool in the data professional's toolbox. In this video, you will see how to replay workloads using Benchmark Factory. The capture of workloads is covered in another video. So looking at Benchmark Factory, um, there are two different methods for opening up and replaying a job. So the first one is choosing a new job from the uh, ribbon bar and selecting the database uh, that you will be replaying on. Uh, in this case, I'm going to choose Oracle. And then moving to uh, the test itself, choosing the capture and replay and capture and replay Oracle workload in this case. Select test. And then from here, um, you have a dropdown of all uh, previously run tests. You can also use the ellipses to go into your file system and find the capture that you're interested in and running. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this. The other option is if you've uh, recently ran the capture from this particular benchmark factory, it'll be in the open section, or if you've run it before, it'll be in the complete section. So if you have a capture and replay job open, you simply double click it, and it will open up um, ready to run the test. And from this window, we can see, um, in this case, the restore was run as well. So if you have chosen to manually um, run the backup and restore, you'll have to add this as another test step, which is done here. And if we look at the SQL Server workload in this case and choose test options, uh, we can see each one of the runs uh, that it captured. And if we select one of these, for instance, we can choose edit and select the transaction file. We can also edit the transaction file. Uh, so if we choose edit here, we can go in and see what's actually running for each one of these uh, steps. In this case, running two statements. So they're pretty simplistic because this is a demo, but you can go in and start modifying uh, as you need. And you can also um, add transactions to a previously captured uh, workload. So if you wanted to, for instance, run a stored procedure, you could do that. Um, you can also look at uh, options. You can scale up uh, this workload. And you also have advanced options, when I, which I will not cover in this video. And you also have job setup. So things like uh, just general uh, comments, scheduling, uh, sending out alerts. If you want to send out an alert, set up an email etc. And once you're satisfied with your workload and your backup and restore, you go to the setup agent. You can add agents at this point, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and use my default agent that I have and go ahead and run the job. And once the test is complete, uh, you're presented with a graph showing response time, uh, from here, if this was your first run before your tuning, you could set this as a baseline so that you could compare other tests or subsequent tests as you perform uh, performance tuning, etc. You can also export uh, the findings out. And that's all that I really wanted to share today about uh, replaying workloads on Benchmark Factory. Hopefully this helped you understand a little bit more about uh, replaying workloads and Benchmark Factory in general. For more information on this or other topics, you can check out the community-driven innovation going on at www.toadworld.com and clicking on the Community tab. For more information on this product, visit www.quest.com forward slash products forward slash benchmark factory. Thank you and have a great day.